On the left-hand side, it's just a pure image. On the right-hand side, it's an image plus a little bit of text right down below. Now, I'm going to do a little experiment. Which one do you think converted better? Now, we move on to the main launch. The main launch is where it goes out to the bulk of your email list. This is basically the main part of your holiday season. This is the Black Friday of, the, of BFCM, right? And who to prioritize? You want to prioritize people who are the most active in your subscriber base, people who have opened an email at least once in the last 45 days, uh, or they are active on your website at least once in the last 45 days. And more importantly, if you want to drill down into people who are even more loyal or even more engaged, people who have given you a thumbs up, they trust your brand, they gave you their money. These are your most active buyers, proven buyers, people who have given you their money in the past. This is what you want to prioritize. And obviously by now, you should have all your A-B tests concluded and use all of that conclusions, build out the best converting email that you can think of. This is where magic happens. Uh, in our case, there are two, two little examples here. On the left-hand side, it's just a pure image. On the right-hand side, it's an image plus a little bit of text right down below. Now, I'm going to do a little experiment. Which one do you think converted better? A or B? Just shout it out loud. A? B? B. All right, you guys got it right. That's B. It's B, and, and the results were extremely surprising because it's, it, it doesn't fit with the whole image of the email. It doesn't, flow exact, it doesn't exactly flow well. But what it did was it added a personal touch, a little bit of a conversational element to it, and Gmail, Yahoo, service providers looked at this email and it said, look, there's some text in here, plus some images. I think this should be a good email to go to the primary tab. How many of you have issues landing in the primary tab versus like the promotional tab? Show of hands. Yeah, quite, quite a few, eh? Yeah, so this is some of the things that you got to test out way ahead of time. Conclude and implement them in the biggest days of your e-commerce year. Now, this is a little bit of a, a sequence that we use on the main launch day. Feel free to modify this based on uh, the needs of your, your business. But email one typically starts out at 12 a.m. 12 a.m. is it's obviously pre-scheduled. No one's going to be staying up at 12 a.m. to write out an email. Um, announce the start of your sales event, your product launch event. Email number two goes out at 10 a.m. It can be earlier or later, depending on how well your audience responds. It has to be a strong call to action. There has to be an urgency reminder. But the one that comes out at 10 a.m. does not have to exclude those that bought at 12 a.m., especially if you still have stock available. If you still have stock available, you want to be able to reach out to everyone, including those that have bought from you at 12 a.m. You'd be surprised at how many additional sales you can get from buyers that have bought earlier before in the same day during a major sales event like this. Email number three comes down at the end of the day. Uh, a reminder email, segments, uh, segments obviously update automatically at this point. You can then exclude buyers that have bought from you in the first two emails. Email number four goes out at 9 p.m. as an urgent last chance reminder. And here's the trick. Use a text-based email. Use a text-based email for your reminder email number four. And that's going to end up in, most likely, a primary tab, especially if you keep it, prom um, if you keep it conversational, not too salesy. And you limit the number of links to just one or two. And on the next day and the two days after, that's what's going to happen uh, afterwards. I'll show you what we do on a, in the next slide. And obviously, you want to vary your subject lines, your email styles, and your offers. Step five. <laughs> Thank you.